everyone. I'm doing something a little different than what I usually do. I've decided to start reading out creepy pastas. Um, something I used to be a big fan of when I was a kid. Obviously, I'm no longer a kid, but I'd figured I'd read some out that I used to listen to just to kill a bit of time. So, this one is called Zombrion, a Pokemon creepy pasta. Uh, which is set in Generation 2, which is either gold, silver, or crystal, and will be reading out. So, let's go. <clears throat> A friend once told me there was supposed to be four evolutions for Eevee in Pokemon Gold and Silver. The two that were already in the game are Espeon, a psychic type, and Aubreon, a dark type. The other two were dropped from the game. These were poison and ghost types. I wasn't convinced this was true, so I decided to see for myself by trying a beta version of Pokemon Gold. The beta ROM was hard to find because most of the ROMs were either normal, not beta, Japanese, or didn't work. When I finally found a working ROM, I loaded it up to search for the new evolution. I wasn't quite sure what to do to get an Eevee to evolve into a poison or ghost type, so I just played the game normally and figured I would find out at some point. Eventually I ended up beating the Elite Four and all of, the, of Kanto. The game was pretty much the same other than a few different locations, dialogue, etc. Oh, and Dunsparce didn't seem to appear, but I won't complain too much about that. I don't really like Dunsparce. But, by the time I beat the game, I still hadn't figured out how to evolve my Eevee. I tried leveling up at night, in caves, etc. After hours of trying, I finally decided to evolve the easy way, by cheating. I tried to use game shark codes, but most of them did nothing, so I decided to ask for help online, and someone on Newground said he could work on a code that should give me all the items. After a few days, he sent me back a code that I put into my game shark, and I loaded the beta ROM, and sure enough, the code gave me every item in the game. I looked through the items and everything was the same except for an item called Toxic Stone. I knew this was the item I was looking for, I used it on my Eevee and nothing happened. The game simply told me it has no effect. I tried over and over but nothing. I was pissed. Was this all I got after I went through this damn game? There had to be something that I did wrong. So I f thought maybe NPCs could help me out. I got a f I got the typical text from the NPCs such as, man that Team Rocket sure is persistent. I love my Jigglypuff. And have you visited the radio tower in the Kanto region? But one NPC said something that stood out. Did you know there's a stone that can evolve a Pokemon after it has fainted? This is where I went wrong. I had to use Toxic Stone on my Eevee after it fainted. At least I hope so. My Eevee didn't take any time to get defeated, especially since we were in a, a level 60 area and my Eevee was only level 40. After it was defeated, I went into my bag and used the stone on my fated Eevee. What's this? Eevee is evolving. Yes, yes, finally. Eevee has evolved into Zombreon. This was not what I was thinking. Zombreon looked like a normal Eevee, but it was greenish and parts of it were missing. Also, its cry was just a lower version of Eevee's. Oh, and once it evolved, it learned an attack called Zombite. But this was all I worked for. 
at Recall a DV. Go on. I calmed down a bit and decided to test it out in the tall grass near New Bark Town. A wild sentry appeared and I threw out Zombrion. I figured it would be pointless to use an attack I've used a million times, like tackle or flash, so I used on bite instead. The attack animation was odd. It looked like bite, but with two poison symbols flashing near the teeth. The attack was a one hit KO according to the text box, but what was strange now was the game asked me if I would like to nickname the Sentret, and it told me Sentret was sent to the PC. I didn't use a Pokeball on it, so why did the game say I caught Sentret? I rushed over to the PC and checked for the Sentret. It was not a normal Sentret anymore. It was now green, a poison type, and it had the moves on Bite. Wait, I know what's going on now. Every time I use Zombite, which I meet which I figured means zombie bite, the enemy Pokemon would get infected, joining my team. This was pretty obvious, considering Zombrion is basically zombie plus Eon. Zombrion. Zombie plus Eevee. I wondered what would happen if I infected the trainer's Pokemon. I used Fly to go to one of the routes in Kanto that I had skipped most of, and ran into a trainer. The battle started, the opposing trainer threw out Kadabra, and I immediately chose Zombite. It was a one hit KO, but rather than throwing out the next Pokemon, the opposing Pike trainer just came out and said, What did you do to my Pokemon? The battle was won, and I received EXP and money. After the battle, the trainer simply was gone. Just gone. In fact, None of the other trainers were there either. This began to creep me out a little bit. I walked around the area to look for another trainer, but found nothing. When I walked into the grass, a wild Kadabra appeared, although this one wasn't a normal Kadabra. It was green and zombie-like, like the Sentret was. And I didn't even have to fight it. It just lost all its health, and the game told me I caught it. I began to get a little creeped out, so I began to head back to town when another wild Pokemon appeared. It was a normal looking rat cage, but I didn't want to fight it, so I hit run, and it didn't work. Sombreon is staring at its foe hungrily, the game told me. The rat cage attacked Sombreon with bite, but after the animation plays, the game said Sombreon countered the attack with Zombite. The zombie bite animation played, causing the Raticate to lose all its HP and join my team. I wanted to get out of this area immediately, so I went into my team to use Fly. I wasn't expecting what I saw. All of my Pokemon were green and zombified, and all of them knew Zombite. I made my Lugia use Fly and take me to Saffron City. When I got there, all the NPCs there, which helped me to relax a little bit. I decided to go into the Pokemon Center to check the PC, and when I did, the game let out an ear-splitting beep, which made me jump a little. In front of the center's counter was a trainer with the Kadabra that I defeated earlier. A text box came up. The, that's the man who hurt my Kadabra. Then, the trainer ran to the corner of the Pokemon Center. A man sitting on one of the seats walked up to me and said, don't worry, I'll stop him. Then I was forced to battle him. He sent out an Arcanine and I sent out Zombrion. I tried to use Tackle and it worked, but after the animation plays, the game said Zombrion used Tackle followed by Zombite. And then the battle ended. And when the game went back to the Pokemon Center, a greenish sprite of an Arcanine stood next to the man. What happened to my Arcanine? What are you? the man said before running out of the Pokemon Center. The Arcanine walked up to me. The game told me that Arcanine was sent to my PC box and then Arcanine disappeared. This was starting to get kind of creepy. I tried talking to the trainer in the corner but all he would say was, please, no more. I tried talking to Nurse but 
all she would say was, get at my poke content. I checked the PC, and sure enough, I had zombie version of all the Pokemon from earlier. When I backed out of the PC, I noticed a new option on the PC called Release All. I tried pressing it, but it told me not enough zomb Pokemon. Dot. I walked out of the center, and the speakers of the computer were filled with loud barrage of low and high pitched beeps and all the NPCs of the centre ran towards the exits of the city. I tried to talk to one of them, but they were moving too fast for me to do anything. When I walked out of the town, there were no trainers around. I figured if I went to another town, everything would be normal. So I made my Lugia fly me to Goldenrod City. When I landed there, there were no NPCs here either. The music wasn't playing. When I tried to walk into buildings, the game told me the door was locked. I tried a few other buildings, but those were locked too. So I went to the Pokemon Center, the door opened as usual, and I went inside. Nobody was inside. But I noticed something new. There was, what appeared to be, a radio on the counter. When I tried to interact with it, a text box came up. Beware of strange Pokemon trainers from the Kanto region have been reporting strange greenish Pokemon attacking and affecting other Pokemon and trainers. Remain indoors and avoid all contact with strange people and Pokemon. Followed by I'm so lonely. I figured there was nothing to be done here. So I walked to the second floor on the second floor, there was a bunch of NPCs standing still facing the stairs. Once I got to the top of the stairs, a loud beat played and text box said, Get out of here, you, you aren't not. A trainer in front of the crowd ran up to me and a bell started. The opposing trainer sent out Ditto, I sent out Zombrion. I tried to use Flash, but instead the game said Zombrion spats poison at Ditto, and Ditto was defeated. After the game, the man backs up into the crowd. Suddenly, Zombrion walked out, and the game said, Zombrion cannot wait any longer, and Zombrion ran into the crowd, touching every trainer and Pokemon. When it touched Pokemon, they would turn green, but when it touched trainers, the game let out a loud beep, then the trainer would disappear. Once all the trainers were gone, and all the Pokemon were affected, a text box said, Jigglypuff, Abra, Ditto, and Clefairy were sent to the PC. Then, the Pokemon disappeared. I checked my trainer card, because I remember what the trainer said to me earlier, that I wasn't normal. Sure enough, my trainer was zombified too. I felt kinda sick. Would Game Freak really do something like this? I shook off the feeling and tried to fly to a different town, but the game told me Lugia was too weak to fly. Great. I went back into the centre to get a new flying Pokemon from my PC. But when I looked inside, all the Pokemon in the PC were infected. I tried taking out my Pidgeotto, but pressing the withdraw button just plays a buzz sound that usually plays when you aren't allowed to do something. I couldn't move Pokemon either, so there was only one thing left to do. I saved the game first, then pressed release all. The game asked me, would you like to release all Zomb Pokemon? Yes. And all the Zomb Pokemon were released. I checked the box, and now all my Pokemon in the PC were gone. I was confused. What is the purpose of an option like this? I walked outside and got quite the surprise. Parts of the building were on fire, windows were boarded up, and NPCs were running from green Pokemon. I couldn't interact with Pokemon or trainers, so I decided to walk out of town. The area outside of town was similar in a way. The trees were on fire, there were grey particles moving in front of the screen, which made it look like the screen was all smoking. Walking into the tall grass didn't cause Pokemon to appear either. 
but I could talk to small amount of NPCs that were standing around. They would say things like, I had to hit my poor Pikachu with a stick, he just wouldn't stop trying to bite me. What started this? Who started this? I want it all to end. I want to go home to my family. I eventually walked to Violet City, then Cherry Grove City, and finally New Bok Town. This was the only place that was normal. So the trainers that walked around outside of the buildings weren't there anymore, and when it all went into the laboratory to see it was empty too. It wasn't. Inside was a single professor. Once I took a step forward, an exclamation mark point appeared above his head, and he walked up to me. I finally finished it. A gene that protects my Pokemon from that poison stuff that caused all the Pokemon to turn strange. This is where it all began, and this is where it should all end. He said, causing a battle to start. The game said Professor Elm would like to battle. He sent out a level 86 for Alligator. I threw out Zombreon. I knew Zombreon was too weak to handle this, so I switched to Lugia. When I tried to use any attack other than Zombie, Lugia would end up using it anyways. And when Lugia did, I'd get a message that said it has no effect on Feraligator. After this, the opposing Feraligator used an attack called Cure that was super effective and defeated Lugia right away. My next Pokemon was Typhlosion, but the battle was almost the same as it went for Lugia. I tried using Flamethrower, but it said Typhlosion used Zombite, and it was instantly defeated by Cure. The battle went on like this until I got to Zombreon. I pressed Zombi at this point because I knew it was coming. It didn't help and Frenagale used Cure. Zombreon was brought down to 1 HP. The game said Zombreon refuses to give up. Zombreon used Struggle. Feraligator was instantly defeated and Zombreon was defeated by the recoil. Professor Elm came up and said, no, no, no. And the battle ended. After the battle, Elm took a step back and said, I lost. It's all over. It's all over. I want this to, I want this pointless game to end right now. And I ran out of the lab. After a few seconds, a text box said, You hear a loud bang in the distance. I think I know what this meant. I went outside and a text box came up. Why did this have to happen? I didn't understand who said this since there was nobody around. I thought maybe someone was in my character's house, so I headed there. Inside was my mum. She was sitting on a chair in the house as usual. I tried interacting with her. She definitely wasn't doing anything usual. It's mum. She's not moving. This text actually made me feel sad, but I didn't expect the screen to cut to black after that text closed. The screen faded from black and the opening screen where you enter your character's name, but my character just stood there with a text box below and it said all of this was my fault. All those poor people, my mom, Evie. But was it really my fault? The character glared at the screen for a split second and cut to black. The game went straight to the credits. Nothing was different. All the Pokemon were there, as usual. Once the credits start were over, the emulator froze, and whenever I tried to load the beta ROM, the emulator just freezes. I realised this was only one of the two evolutions for Eevee. Well, the ghost was probably in Pokemon Silver. I can't imagine what would happen with this evolution of Eevee, and I don't want to know. And that's it. I had a bit of trouble with this one, as I'm sure you could tell, and I think it's a pretty decent creepypasta. I like that it has images in it, and I also like the concept of a zombie apocalypse in Pokemon. I think it's a bit unique. However, I do have a few things I want to point out. I don't think the game engine is really quite capable of running the fire and smoke effect, and I also think the uh, poison 
thing was a bit, I don't know, because obviously you can't poison ground and steel types, so does that mean that steel type and ground type Pokemon are immune to the zombie virus? I am not sure, but I just thought I'd bring that up. Overall, good cream pasta. I'd say 7 out of 10, and that's it. Thank you for watching.